Hey YouTube, good morning. I'm gonna go out and do a drive and hopefully uh, get some more unprotected left turns done, but uh, I just wanted to answer a few questions in, via video on the camera mod I've done. Um, so first of all, I wanna give credit to Adam. Adam is the technical guru that helped derive, with Frenchie's help, the technical specifications on how to tap into the Texas Instruments chip on the back of this monitor. Um, but basically, I've got a an HDMI out port and I know this is a little bit different than the other ones because I did this one myself. Uh, Frenchie and Chris have a little nice 3D printed case and Roth also. Uh, but with that HDMI out port, basically I've got a Android phone with a USB hub, an external SD card, a USB-A 3.0 port with the capture card in it, uh, external power so I can charge the phone while recording, uh, and I'm using that as my capture device. Sorry, the camera cut out there. I was trying to say I use a tripod here uh, right behind the console for first person view uh, looking out the windscreen. And the 360 camera is mounted up on the top of the car in the center location. But for perspective, I've got it adjacent to the B pillar location. So theoretically, its viewing perspective is the same as the B pillar. Anyway, that's how I'm set up. We'll give it a go and uh, see what today brings. Okay, here we go for round uh, one, I think. Let's see, forward facing unprotected lefts here. It's got a nice gap here if it wants to roll it. Nice roll with a nice big gap. Didn't even pause. That was a great run. That's what we like to see. All right, here we go. Let's see what this one looks like. It's got another very large gap. It should just roll this one also. It didn't hesitate and that car was on coming at a decent rate of speed. That was good. So that was two pretty simple ones. It actually didn't have to wait on either one of those. We'll see if we can get uh, some traffic to where it actually has to force it to wait and choose its gap. Okay, looks like we got a little bit of forward facing here. Should pause probably on this one for sure. Slowly, slowly. Okay, it was going in a gap that it couldn't fit in, uh, in my judgment. So, I don't know. I, if it had pressed the accelerator, I, maybe, but ah. We'll have to take a look at that one, but that one was too close for me. It, it should have stopped for that one. All right, let's see if we got a gap or a weight. Looks like a weight to me with a big gap after it. Let's see. Well, no, maybe perfectly timed. Is it going to roll that one too? Yep. Easy peasy. It likes the rollers. It always has. This is a pre-version 10. If it could see a gap and roll it, it usually did pretty good. All right, a little bit more traffic here. Definitely probably has to wait again. Hopefully it will. Okay, that car was afraid. I wasn't gonna let it cross the line, but my momentum made him go all the way around. Um, so, as good as these rollers may seem, don't let that confuse you that it isn't necessarily picking smart gaps. I'm going to have to, to get a couple more of these where it has to wait. Um, that wasn't a good one. I'm going to mark that one just so that the uh, screen capture has that one. I hope you could see uh, from the overhead view that that red car... Uh, was probably a little worried. All right, and another wide open roller here. This is a great car to have if there's no traffic. Mm -hmm. 
All right, looks like it's gonna need to wait again. I'm grabbing the steering wheel a little tighter this time. It's a very tiny gap. It fit in a smaller gap and it didn't hesitate. So once again, the rollers worked. The last, I'm, I'm gonna give it credit for not hesitating to make the decision to go when it when the roller is the is the is the important decision because that speed is what makes those dynamic gaps work. Uh, but it has to know when to be cautious. Not only you know can it calculate a trajectory, but are the other cars going to worry about uh, my speed and acceleration without having to deviate? Uh, a lane like that car previously did that could also cause an accident somebody having to deviate uh, out, out of what they think is my ingression okay I had a lead car go for a second and I'm gonna need to wait it's gonna need to wait it's gonna need to wait oh I think I somehow disengaged it okay I'm not sure if it was going to go or not, so that one uh, probably doesn't count. <clears throat> I don't think I had much friction on the wheel, though. Boy. All right, here we go again. This one looks like a nice weight with a large gap afterwards. Hey, it waited once. Nice. <laughs> it waited. It was a large gap, but at least it stopped and waited that time, uh, unlike the previous ones. Uh, so anyway, okay, good, it waited. So we know it can do it. It just has to do it every time. Okay, definitely another wait scenario here. A little bit more obvious in my mind. There's traffic everywhere. Okay, it waited in a good spot. It didn't go all the way to the line like it did the previous times. I do have another car uh, over, over in the uh, intersection. This is, don't go, don't go. Okay, that was a small, too small of a gap to go for. Uh, there was a larger gap, so I see what it saw, but with the speed of these cars at 55 miles an hour here, it was too small um, for me to let it do it. Maybe one day, not yet. Okay, another definite weight scenario here. It's got a little gap there. I hope, no, it's not gonna go for that, I hope. Okay, it's wheels turned too much. Okay, there's a wait, wait, okay. I'm in a good waiting spot. This is plenty of distance here. It's creeping, but it needs to wait on all of these. It shouldn't even be nudging forward. Okay, here's the gap it needs to go for. Nice pre-roll. Hey, that was picture perfect, except for, uh, except for that part. Shucks, it almost did it perfectly, except for <laughs> running into oncoming traffic and not staying in its lane. Okay, well. A plus B equals C, and it got A right, but it didn't get B right that time. Okay, we'll try it again. All right, here we go again. Definitely got a wait scenario here with a nice large gap afterwards. Well, it might be teased by a little gap. This is a great waiting spot. Creep, needs to creep, don't go yet. Okay. It was going for the wrong spot. Uh, and I think I scared that driver a little bit too. His nose went down where he tapped his brakes where he was going, you gotta be kidding me. All right, I wanna end on a great one. A great hard one, not a great easy one. Okay, I think this is the last one. If it goes, it can make it. It needs to go. It needs to go, and it rolled it. All right. 
we'll call that a wrap. It was a roller and it made it. So in review, it likes rollers. It's good at them if the gap is appropriate. If it has to stop and wait, today it did not stop enough times. The times it did stop, it chose some good gaps and some not. So I'm gonna call it a mixed bag there. So these forward facing unprotected lefts are all using the best cameras the car has, the forward uh, tri-camera. Um, and it should be able to see as much as it can. I'll try to give you guys some good video coverage. Please leave your comments below uh, and let me know what you think uh, about the new screen mod, about the 360 integration and the overhead view. Take care, have a great day.